so far day four is really treating me good. I just arrived in um, a yard firm. Yarbrough, Yarbrough Antique Mall in Jackson, Tennessee. It says Jackson's oldest and largest. Let's check it out. These are very cool. It's the set of three for 50 and over, so 25% off. Very neat. Maybe not for me, but at that price. Although, when you divide it up, that's not bad. It's just, I'm a little nervous about this style. I am really, really excited to go shopping, especially now that I've gotten as lucky as I have. I needed that. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. All kinds of everything. Of course, I'm looking at this wall pocket it's got a little bit of paint loss though and it's missing its strings at the bottom it's kind of fun in here love the places where you never know what you're gonna find i really like that perfume bottle the green one so the signs here are a little confusing 25 percent off total purchase okay so if i buy both the coin dots at $15 each, then I get 25% off, I guess. Those are really pretty. Those are usually expensive too. $12 each is a really good deal, but I'm gonna keep going before I get a key. I'm very curious about this vase back here. $39.50. I thought it was glass, it's ceramic. Um, from afar, it looked like it could go either way. <laughs> I love the toy diner. See a cat over here. Ah, I'm trying to sneak in. It's the planter version. 15. That's about retail. Oh, I love the candle holder. It's got hand painting on it. Super pretty. I love the green too. There's a lot going on over here. I'm trying to focus my eyes. Lots of fun little plastic beaded necklaces. This one definitely stands out to me. This yellow and green number. That's fun. Like the green. That's really fun, yeah. I think that's Hong Kong, yeah it is. I think it's a little too much up front. Oh my gosh, look at this little dicey yellow one. <laughs> That's so fun. Well, this has my attention. She's plastic though. It's really interesting. It's like a boudoir doll. I've never seen a plastic one. I don't know, you guys. I'm making my way through this place pretty quickly. That guy in there has my attention. Oh, but unfortunately, it's at 15. That's too close. He's fantastic, though. I think that's such a pretty powder box. Hmm. Well, at least we've got this little section. This is, of course, the first thing I see. $2, but it's a, a newer one. It's made to look like the older this is very pretty. It's only $7.50. It's a little underwhelming for me, though. After that last stop, you know I'm going to check out this pig, though. How fantastic is he? $15. I think I could still make some money off that. Just maybe it's not as much as I would um, want to justify spending $15 on it, though. What is this up here? The Dancing Queen? That is so cute. It's a book. All right, well, that wasn't really what I was looking for. And I still really need a post office. I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen one yet. So I am gonna head towards Memphis. There's definitely a post office there. I'm about an hour away. I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, so this is my nightmare. <laughs> uh, 
I was about half an half an hour outside of Memphis when I decided to go off the beaten path to go to an antique mall. However, the roads are no longer here. So I've been driving probably about 10 miles into the abyss of nothing. I think I'm gonna turn around. Although other people seem to be going this way. I'm very confused where they're going. Oh my gosh, this is my nightmare. Hell on earth. So I was trying to figure out where the other person was going that passed me, but I stopped for a minute. I decided I didn't want to find out. I was up for some adventure. I was gonna detour maybe 35 minutes off the highway north, but this is too, too much adventure, way too much adventure. I am turning around. And now, the sound of something scraping. I don't see anything, that's not a good sign. Yeah, this is my nightmare. My car is making a very bad sound that it was not making before I got off the highway. Okay, I made it safely to, to Memphis. This has been a stressful situation. Um, I guess I had like a piece of gravel or something stuck in something. It was a nightmare. I almost got ran off the road. I mean, you name it, it was happening. I am ready to just unwind a little bit. I'm at a moment in time, antiques and collectibles in Memphis, and I just am ready to breathe. Also, pro tip, if you're on 40 West and you're trying to get to Southern Draw Antique Mall, don't use Apple Maps. All right, well, the good news is this looks awesome. <laughs> Oh, I can breathe a little easier now. Oh my gosh, stop. $12? That's so cute. I know it's got a little bit of wear, but for what it is, I think I can clean that up, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna get this. Okay, I can do this. Yo. Look at that bracelet in there. That's really neat. And then one of the Marie Antoinette style dresser boxes. And oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. $10. Oh, I love the little graphics on this. I wonder how well that would do. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little turtle toy. It doesn't work, but it's only $6, and it's insanely cute. I'm gonna get it. And then I also pulled this Santa Claus ashtray, which I've never seen. It's only $8, I'm getting that too. And then I like the polka dot bow tie dogs. $10 for the pair, that's not bad at all. Super cute. Oh, look at this vase. $20. That's totally fair. Well, I promise after this that I'm gonna go to the post office. There's one not far from here. I just was like needing to breathe easy and use a restroom <laughs> before I went to the post office. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. I love that. Oh, there is a lot happening here. This is fantastic. That is very, very, very old. And I love the chalkware Scotty dogs. Oh my gosh, look at this giant glass vase. That's amazing. Whoa. Lots of doll people here, it seems. I like dolls. They just have to be the right kind and the right price. Oh my gosh, look at this old jacket. The Letterman's jacket. I guess it's a cheerleading one. That is fantastic. It's just so packed. Love it. Looks like we've reached a little kitschy nook. I love the cloth doll. Antique fabric doll. She's got a little bit of wear on her, but she's in good condition enough for, especially for the price, $9.50. Um, I'm going to pass on her, but 
she needs a little bit more help than I can give her. What's going on here? Let's see, Victorian 1800s, Majolica English. Wow, these are very cool. I've never seen those before. Here's another turtle. I guess it's like a, huh, interesting. Is this what I think it is? No, it's a very good reproduction. Actually, not that good now that I look at it. It looked like uh, one of the Italian boxes. Oh, so cute with the bluebird. Let's see, how much is this? Napco wear 1250. That's probably pretty close. Look at, does this have a cat on it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's got some paint loss. I've never seen that before. USA Pottery, too. 1450. Wish it didn't have that paint loss. I can't justify that. Records, not surprising. Lots of records, lots of sports, music, memorabilia. I'm kind of curious what's in this back corner. Looks like a very whatnot booth. This is such a fun tray. <laughs> I really like that. What is this boot thing? Rainy day savings, that's so cute. And then, oh, oh that's not what I thought it was at all. This is cool. Huh. Interesting. $20. Looks like it's got some age to it too. I wonder if I could get away with that. Oh my gosh. I was looking at the purse when, ah, dang. They have the internet here on their side. That stinks. Yeah, this was very cool. I'm very tempted to get it. It's also like in pristine condition. You can tell it's got some serious age to it too. And the inside is like pristine. I think I'm gonna do it. And then there's all these little kittles. What? $30 each, new in packaging though. I'm curious, I've never seen these ones before. Yeah, so it looks like there's no room in that for me as a real reseller, which doesn't surprise me, but it's pretty awesome that they're in the original packaging. All kinds of random whatnots. Cases, hmm, jewelry cases too. Oh my gosh, the ashtray is $23. That's a really fair price. Those are hard to find. Um, for me as a reseller, it doesn't leave enough room. I can make a couple bucks. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I could make a couple bucks, but not enough to justify that. The cats, the miniature cat band, the whole thing is $12.50. I think I could still make some money off that. That's fantastic. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I'm not sure if I'm up for the case right now. It's a little, it's a little uh, more than I'd like to spend to run and get a key, but what's that cat? Oh my gosh, it's rubber. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Let's see. $15, but 20% off. Ideal toy, 1960. <laughs> and it squeaks. Sold. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. That is so funny. And then I also notice the little mouse. It's a cotton, cotton ball holder. But this really has my attention. This cat bank with the rhinestone collar. $20 though. I don't think there's enough room in that for me. I've never seen it though. <laughs> I love the happy egg and bacon. What's this? That's newer. Avon. Plastic too. Um, This though. Look at this pose doll. She's fantastic. 
she is Korea. So at $20, I don't think there's enough room in that for me as a reseller. She's newer than the ones in Japan. Oh, that's a really unique style. I've never seen that exact one before. Lots of fabulousness over here. The sky and mirrors and lamps. Super cool hats. I love this yellow one. And then look at the rock art. Sand art, rock art. It's so neat. Yeah, I really like the vibe in this booth. The Bugs Bunny lamp. That's so cute. I also love the Lucite seahorses. $40 for the set. That's geared towards a collector for sure. Fair price though. Seahorses are hard to find like that. Serious toy booth. What's going on in here? <laughs> She's so fun. Five dollars. I think I'm gonna get her. I love her outfit. Let's see, is she marked? She should be Hong Kong if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, she's fun. Look at her overalls. Here's another one, but um, not as fantastic as the one I got. Oh my gosh, she's fun too. Yeah, I like the one in the overalls the best. What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, stop it. Oh, yes. This is epic. I've never seen one quite like this before. So weird, and it's only $12. I'm gonna dig through this booth. Oh my gosh, what is this? <gasps> oh, how fantastic. How much is this? $5? Stop, that's insane. He's fantastic, I'm definitely getting that. And then, what is I've had this one before. I thought it would sell for a lot when I first saw it, but it actually sold for like 20 something dollars. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Is that? No, this is a newer one, I think. Yeah, Mr. Magoo. There's an older one that I sold for good money. It was like $65 or something. That one's the newer version of it. So I don't usually do like new, new stuff, but I really, really, really love this Zoe from Sesame Street purse. I actually had a golden retriever that I named Zoe after this character. <laughs> That's another one that has that super unique look that I thought would go for a lot. And I don't think it does if I remember correctly. What is this though? Look at her. Oh my gosh, $5. I've never seen a doll with this face before. She's fantastic. I'm definitely gonna get her. Super unique. And then what is this? It's a squeak toy. It's it's like Cinderella or something. Weird. Not sure about her condition though. And then the kaleidoscope up here. That is fun. It's um it's newer than I thought it was, though. From afar, I thought it was going to be one of the older ones. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sending a picture of this to Rachel and my boyfriend. They're going to be like, that's your face, though. <laughs> like I said, I don't do newer stuff, but I am going to Google this Rainbow Bright doll. The prices couldn't be any more all over the place. Now, the question is, which one is this? Is this Hallmark or Mattel? Hallmark Mattel, okay. But it's the same thing. Yeah, the prices are really all over the place. At $15, it's definitely a good deal. It's not really my thing, and she's got a little bit of wear to her. There are some that are listed for crazy amounts, but it looks like the average sold price is about 30 bucks. But then there's also the smaller size. She has her whole dress on, and she's $10. I kind of feel like I should get this. It's out of my wheelhouse, but something something's telling me that someone's gonna see this and they're gonna be like, I've been looking for that for so long. How could you leave that? And I like the smaller size. It's a little bit more manageable. Now, while I was looking at that, I also noticed this weird acrobatic workout, 80s workout girl mug thing. <laughs> 
$2.95. That is fantastic. Unfortunately, it's got a pretty gnarly chip out of it, though. Oh, that's a shame, because I really think that's funny. But I guess there is another one. This is a different one, though. I've never seen a... I don't feel like I never see Rainbow Bright stuff. I definitely feel like I got the right one. This one... Yeah, this one's not my favorite. Something about the one that I picked up is just telling me to get it. I should probably get the larger one, too. But I'm fine with uh, just uh, gambling with one of them. I see some owls back here. That's cute. It's got some wear, though. Ooh, I love these. Five dollars. Sold. And it's in, like, great condition. Awesome. I also think this is hilarious. Thirty dollars, though. That's a little steep for me. Uh, what is this dog? I'm trying to go over there without making you guys dizzy. Eleven fifty. Dang. He's fantastic, but... I think he's too close for my purposes of resale. What is going on in here? Um, oh my gosh, I'm buying this. It's new old stock. To hell with work, let's go to Las Vegas. $15 sold. This is like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sell that. I am running out of room here in my basket. This is newer. Um, let's see. What else can we find in this booth? What else is in this? Okay. Nothing else. Look at that towel. That's so neat. Well, I already know everyone's looking at the chalkware. I see a little hula girl in here too. Oh my gosh. This place is so fun. Oh, I see it's just $12, but I've already made it this far. Underwhelming. Fenton shoe. $8. That's uh, not my favorite. I'm a little underwhelmed after seeing as many unique things as I have. What's this green vase? That is so pretty. $24. Super dainty. That seems really reasonable. Yo, what? Huh. Interesting. Maybe it's Star Wars. Uh, this is very cute, whatever this <laughs> wood thing is. Oh, it's a lamp? It's a lamp. That's cute. How much is it? 20 bucks and 20% off. That seems super cheap. Should I get this? Kind of seems like, let's see if it works. I'm scared it's going to blow up. <laughs> Nervous about it. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see that the flower has a big nick missing. I'm sorry if I'm doing a crappy camera job. It's been a long few days, but most importantly, my basket is super heavy and overfilling. <laughs> Cute little nursery planters. I love the football one. I haven't had much luck with the sports-related stuff, though. Whoa. This is cool. $35. Lacquer over brass. I've never seen something quite like that before. Huh. Very cool. I did go ahead and look that bowl up. It just seemed too different not to. Uh, there was a couple sitting on eBay like it for $50. Oh my gosh, I wish this didn't have that huge chunk missing out of it. These are super hard to find. Oh, that's so cool. That's a really big chunk for 10 bucks. Yeah, it's two chunks. Dang. Um, I looked up the bolt, $50 sitting on eBay and nothing really in sold. So I decided to pass at $35. Oh my gosh, look at this funny thing. I'm not sure what that tag says. I guess it says $20. That's really funny though. Oh, the sun is like really in your way. There you go. <laughs> and $128 later, I am out of there. And it looks like 0.2 miles away, there's yet another antique mall. I'll see you guys there.